Hello everyone and welcome back. Okay. We are going to get to level 53. Uh, sorry, level 54. We're going to put in the jewel. See if winter type works. In addition to that, as soon as we've got that, we're probably going to look in the lab. You'll notice I'm going really gently here because it's feeling very, very rippy because of the floor. By very, very rippy, I mean extraordinarily so. Yep, which means I can fit my jewel, which I am going to, my cluster jewel, which I'm going to do now. Can't wait to see how powerful it is. This is where it's going to be a massive flop, isn't it? It still sticks to a one-shift move, which is nice. Ow! Ow! There, yeah, she's down. That was actually... fast. Yeah, it's like night and day, <laughs> but... Uh, Good eye, it's still a bit low damage on the... Um, leading edge. But... It's dropping off and spreading now, which it wasn't doing before. It was just sticking to the died. And again, we shouldn't forget to use recall, because recall is a really good way of scaling this. I think it's actually time now to try the um, fast activation ramp skill. I've got one of those in my um, stash tab, so as soon as we finish this area, we'll go back and get it. Now that reduces, drastically reduces the um, duration of the brands, but drastically increases their um, activation range. So, yeah, this is so much smoother now. Um, I'm not completely getting rid of the um, Creeping Frost yet. It's nice for a bit of um, ancillary damage. That said, this is just broken. I actually really enjoy this skill now. See how that starts to um, stack. Ow, 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 ow. And he's down. Now, the other good thing about this skill is you can land it and then just keep running. Because you know it's going to pretty much kill everything. Okay, there's a waypoint coming up shortly. We'll get here and then go back and get the switch up bone chill for the activation frequency. Fine. I've just noticed as well that I didn't trade in the um, star for the bridge. Just now let's go for we're going to go for duration I think. Damage over time. Every little helps until we can afford better jewels. Right, let us go and attempt the lab. Okay, so there's a dark shrine off the main room, dark sh and then three dark shrines along the way. We're going to go for all of them, because um, I really want traps disabled. And it would also be nice if the first one could give a speed shrine, because speed shrine helps get it through. Very, very good. So we're going to exit top middle to get the dark shrine. Now I was contemplating putting clarity on, but decided against it because the reservation. Do not level this character like this unless you've got the um, cluster jewel. Now mine set me back about 40 chaos, I think, when I bought it. But they've come down a lot in price now. If you don't get both of the um, things I've got on it, they're a lot cheaper as well. I think you can hit one up for about 11 chaos. But yeah, this jewel will be used in the game, it's not just a now thing, so... It's going to be essential for the build's operation to have a jewel. 
with at least Holy Conquest on it. The pursuit of power what have we got? Trap reduction, I think. Yep. Yep. You were born. Like I've just almost insta faced Desaro, he jumped one away from the center and went straight back. It's the cluster jill. The cluster jill makes such a massive difference. You know you can get that in cake form now, and it's really good. Very sickly, but really good. It's one of my favorites. Deep fried pizza just sounds wrong. Yeah, he's in animation. Now he's actually dead. Mobility is a lie. Is he actually gonna... Were born for this. Really weird. Only one of your messages was completely So has that let me through? All the way. Yes, it has. What did that give us? Azaro drops a unique item on death. It's not traps disabled. Yes, we take less trust damage, but I prefer them to be completely off traps and kill them and very, not very before. Okay, the next room's got a dark shrine. It's our last chance to get a trap disabled. Labyrinth traps are, are disabled. Swift brand support is what I'm looking for. Let's take a bone chill switch. Now, let's see what this does. 3.76 seconds drops down to 1.32 seconds. That's a massive drop. But our cycle speed goes from 0.18 to 0.12. I'm not sure that's going to reach full capacity. Let's see how it goes. We can always switch back. Probably not the best time to change it out when we know what we've got works. But... Our throne is the most devious trap. Yeah, I think that's slightly worse. I mean, it's still ridiculous damage and still not a problem. But I don't think... I think I'm going to have to get my um, duration a lot higher. To make that viable. Okay, so we're going for Frigid Wake. Let's roll something on the gloves just because we can. To see what these do, you can go into the um, thing and it's here. Edict of Grave summons three icy school minions that explode at the end of their duration. I think we're going to go for something like this long term. Because the socket would all our gems, we can stick our gems in there and it also allows us to, to run several of them because they reduce mana reservation. Plus the 25 to all element resist, it's very, very nice. I think we might try this one. Now we may find our cold resistors are low now. Actually they're not. We go down and get that next. That should drastically increase our damage as we drop over storms and then use the um advance on it. Now in this area to level, you really want to outside of these doors, look for dead bodies. If you find a dead soldier's body, it is the exit. Now, I didn't see a dead body outside of either of those. Oh, yes, I did. There. Dead bodies there. It's feeling really safe as well, because you can just drop them and move around. Yeah, our energy shield will be going up as um, discipline levels. We probably want to switch that out to a Valve discipline later, because the Valve version... We use the normal one to give us energy shield, and the Valve version forces energy shield to start regening. Yeah, the only reason I did a Chaos Recipe this this league so far is to get the um, challenge. 
I think if you pick things up by habit, it's not a bad thing. See, bosses are just so safe because you can just literally plant them and run around. Estimated chance to evade is 12%. We're going to use the evasion flask, at least for now. Now, with these jewels, with quality, collect them. If you sell a collection of jewels that add up to 40 or over quality, you will get a um, gem cutters. Yeah, I think we are going to rework all the storms to apply a curse. We'll do that um, the next available sh shopping time. I Means going back to Act 6, probably. In fact, I'm probably going to get all the storms to cast both my curses. Because remember, we are going dual curse setup. But not using the ascendancy. I think the defensive energy shield ascendancy is far better um, than the two curses, because the two curses are on our way anyway. And I must keep remembering to drop all the storms, because that's now directly tied to the damage. Although, they shouldn't get cold resistance just off this. They have got resist cold, but I get that they're cold monsters, so they might have anyway. I need to find a mob big enough to actually test that out. But I don't believe our cold, because it doesn't hit, will actually give us um the equilibrium debuff. So we're not actually losing any damage from it. I don't think that gave me... Oh. Now actually, we've got a guy coming up up here that's quite tanky. Yep, yeah, it's not giving them the cold debuff. Now if we put this down... Resist lightning, so yeah, lightning. the lightning's procking and because we don't hit with um, Winter Tide It's not applying the debuff, so we don't lose any damage by not putting it down So if clearing is probably fine not to, but the bosses you definitely want to for the um, Big increase in damage Oh, bleeding And I don't have an anti-bleed flask Now to work out if you've still got brands in play, if you look up at the top left of the screen you'll see I've now got two brands in play. And as we roll out more you'll see we've now got four brands in play. This little indicator here. Now in the olden days of brands before this league, these would have lived forever. These wear off so damn fast. And he's down. No 1.32 seconds. We need a way of increasing that drastically. 1.32 goes to 1.39. So not a massive increase there, but 25% should boost it quite a bit. Okay, this area is infested with porcupines, so we're probably going to kill ourselves. That's another good point with energy shield. Um, it doesn't recharge while you're in combat. So if you've taken a lot of damage, just get out of the way and run around, even if it means stopping damage for a little while. Let your shield charge back up and it'll just give you that buffer. I hate these things as well. Actually, load. Ugh. Now, in the interest of doing this fight easily, I'm going to try switching out Swift Brand for Bone Chill again. It stays on longer, and I have to refresh it. That 
That damage is phenomenal, he can't do anything to me. Look at that damage! That is obscenely fast. I'd really do with leveling just in case they try and kill me, but we'll see. This is insane. Sun and Moon pretty much insta faced. They're pretty much both out at the same time because they were swapping over so often. This is absolutely obscene for killing bosses. Sun and Moon return. Well, and Metamorphs as well, I think. I think it will do Metamorphs alright, but that's one of the true tests, because some of those Metamorph bosses are absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, the Conquerors and Cyrus are going to be the true test, because I think they're among the highest thing in the game now. Brands last a lot less than they used to. Well, that's one of the reasons that it used to be really annoying on bosses that would disappear because you'd lose your lock with your brands, but now it doesn't really matter because you have to reapply them that often anyway. Because they only last on target like 1.3 seconds when you've got um, Swift Brand. That would just make life complicated. I would never do such a thing. You've been watching Altec 2K. Thank you for watching.